Hey boys and girls, welcome to your writer's workshop today. Let's begin with your learning target. I can write a story with a beginning, middle, and end. We are working on writing a personal narrative story. Remember, personal narrative stories are stories that are written about yourself. Let's review what we've talked about so far. We talked about all of the steps on writing a good personal narrative story. The first step in writing a good story is you have to think of an idea. We've already did this step. We created our bright ideas um, last week. Remember, an idea that you could write about could be something that happened to you, um, a thing that you do. It could be a, something about something you did with your friends or your family. It could be about an event that happened with a pet. It could even be about a book or a movie that you read or a place that you went to. Um, this is something that's special to you or something that happened to you. Um, here are my um, bright ideas that I, when we were discussing this last week, I created my list of bright ideas. Um, one of my ideas was going to Cosmo, Mexico on a cruise. My second idea was um, about my AirPods because that was something special to me. Um, scoffing with friends, going to yard sales with my family. Um, the pets that we have, or, or we have two goldfish at my house, um, something that we did this summer with my family was swim in a pool, and then finally we had our first day of first grade. Um, so these were just some ideas. Um, I finally decided to write about um, my AirPods, okay? So I've already got my idea. So that's step one. Then we move to step two, plan. Um, that's the step that we're on today. When you plan your story, you're going to touch and tell across the pages. I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a minute. And you can sketch across the pages. Now, when you sketch, um, that means you quickly draw. You're not drawing your best pictures. You're not coloring. You're just sketching your ideas. Um, now, when you get guys and girls come back to school, you'll get a real book that looks like this. And you'll be able to use your pencils and your crayons um, to help you write this story. But right now, since we're virtual, you're going to get this book um, through Seesaw, okay? So, um, normally when you're writing a story, um, you will use your pe your pencil and you're going to sketch across these pages in this book using your pencil. Kind of lightly so that if you need to erase, you could. It'll be, it'll be easy to do so. Um, but since we're doing virtual right now, you will get this. You will receive this book through Seesaw and we're going to touch and tell across the pages the same way we did it. If you have the book in your hands, we're going to do it digitally. And I'm going to show you what that's going to look like. So... Um, the third step is going to be writing the story, and the last step will be revising. So we're going to mainly focus on step two today. We're going to touch and tell across the pages. Um, let's quickly review what um, a watermelon, the difference between a watermelon story and a seed story is. Now, um, when you're trying to decide whether or not your story is a watermelon story idea or a seed story idea, um, they are complete opposites of each other. A watermelon story is a big story that has many, many events in it, and it can last over a long period of time, okay? But a seed story is quite the opposite. A seed story, is a, a seed story idea is a smaller seed, um, a smaller idea that focuses only on one idea, one event, and it lasts for a very short period of time, not very long at all. Um, so let's look at an, an example. Going to the beach would be a watermelon story idea because it has many events. Going to the beach could last you a whole week. It, could go, it lasts you a whole weekend. Um, it might be your whole entire vacation. So that's a humongous watermelon idea. That's too big. That's too broad to write about. So we want to zoom in on one of the events that took place at the beach. It could be um, going out to eat at your favorite restaurant, um, getting pied in the face for your birthday at the Mexican restaurant while you were there, finding seashells with your cousins, parasailing, building sandcastles, um, falling asleep on the beach, um, swimming in the pool with your friends. So our, our, that idea of going to the beach could include so many things. But if I wanted to zoom in on one seed story to write a story about, I might say this, right about the time that I found seashells with my daddy. That would be one event that happened at the beach, but I'm zooming in. I'm only going to tell you the story about finding shells with my daddy, who I was with, where I was at, um, when did it happen, how did it feel, how did we do it, why did we do it, um, only focusing on seashells. Another example of a watermelon idea would be playing soccer. Uh, you know, soccer, um, when you play soccer or any sport, it lasts an entire season. You know, some sports never even end throughout the year. They keep going and going and going. So you don't want to tell me about every single game that you play. 
that's going to get a little bit gory. But if you zoomed in on one small moment that that deals with playing soccer, you might write about with that time, that one moment in time when you scored the winning goal in your championship game. That would be a seed story because then you could tell me who you were with, when did it happen, where were you at, how did you feel when you scored that one winning goal, um, how did you do it, why did you do it. Um, we're not telling you about every single moment in soccer that you have ever, ever played in your life. You're going to zoom in on one tiny thing. So when we were planning our bright ideas last week, some of our stories were watermelons and some of them were seeds. We didn't really know the difference between the two. But then I asked you, once you chose your one main idea that you want to write about, then we decided to zoom it on in to your seed. So I chose AirPods, so I wrote that at the top of my list. And then I wanted to write three details about my AirPods. So one of mine was when I opened my AirPods, um, they were a gift for my husband on Christmas morning. That, that's one detail. I could tell you how I felt, who I was with. Um, also, when I, I could write about all the times that when I go, um, when I exercise, how I use my AirPods. And then the la my last idea was finding out that my AirPods got stolen. So that is a um, small, all three of these are small moments, um, but I'm going to zoom in on the time that I found out that my AirPods were stolen. That's going to be what my whole story is about. I'm not going to tell you about when I opened them on Christmas morning. I'm not going to tell you about me running with them when I exercise. I'm only going to focus on that one moment in time when I found out that my AirPods got stolen out of my car. That is a seed story. So that's where we are today. So the next step is we're going to touch and tell. When you touch and tell, that means you touch each page in your story and you tell what you think is going to happen next or what you want to write about on that page. You can also sketch across the pages. Remember, a sketch is a quick drawing. It's not your best drawing. It's not going to have any color with it. You're going to sketch um, quickly um, just to help you remember, oh, when I get to this page, this is what I'm going to write about. Or when I'm on this page, this is what I'm going to write about. It's just to help you get your events in order. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So this is going to be the front cover of my book. You can go ahead. We don't have to give our book a title right now. Um, but we could. I'm going to go ahead and write my name. You write your name on yours, Miss Smith. Um, and so I'm going to write, um, I'm just going to maybe draw a picture of my AirPods on the front. Here's the case. And then I can maybe, uh, remember these are, it's a sketch. So um, I'm going to draw my AirPods, um, just a sketch. Um, and I'm going to name my, my story right now, Stolen AirPods. All right, so I got the title of my book. I'm only writing about the time my AirPods got stolen, okay? I've got a quick sketch up there. I've got the case and my AirPods. Now I know um, what my, the focus of my book is going to be. So when I open up to page one, I've got a square at the top for a drawing, and I have some lines at the bottom. Now, guys and girls, you're not writing a story. You are sketching your ideas, or you're touching and telling me what's going to happen on the first page of your story. Well, guys and girls, I don't want to just tell you on the first page that my AirPods got stolen, because then nobody would have to read the rest of my book. They already know the problem of my story. So I want to start with, on the first page, I want to start with um, where I was at and when it took place. So I was at my house, so I'm going to draw a picture of my house. Um, and it was, it was daytime, so I'm going to draw a sun, and I'm going to draw me, and I'm going to label me, um, and remember, I'm just drawing stick figures because I can go back later, I can make this a better, better drawing. I'm just getting my ideas down right now. I'm going to draw my husband was there. Um, and both of my children were there at the house. So this is Matt. Um, this is Eli, my son, and then my little girl was there too. And this is Maddie. Um, so I'm going to say I was, this is my house. Um, and it was daytime, 
And then I was with Madden, my daughter, I, me, of course, and then my husband and my Eli, my son. All right, so on the first page, I'm going to just touch it, and I'm going to say, on this page, I'm going to tell you that I was at my house during the daytime, and I was with my family, my husband, Matt, my daughter, Madden, and my son, Eli. Okay, so now I know where I was at, who I was with, and when it was. So then I'm going to go to my next page. So next, I, so I'm with my family at my house, and I got an idea. So I'm going to draw a picture of me. And I'm going to come up with, I'm going to do a thinking book because this is what I thought of an idea. And I was like, I'm going to go run. It had been a long day and I just come up with an idea. So I'm going to go run. And so run was my, I'm going to go run outside. So that's my idea. So on this page, I'm going to tell everybody um, that I'm going to, I have decided to go running. Okay. So then. I'm thinking to myself, I need my AirPods because I love, when I'm running, I, I like to run with music um, because I get bored real easily. So um, I start walking out, um, I go outside. Okay, so here's the driveway to my house. It's shaped kind of like a U. And my car is out there. I'm going to draw my car. And um, my AirPods are in the car. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to just write right here. Let me draw me again because I, I walk outside to get my AirPods out of the car. Okay, so I'm walking to the car to get the AirPods. Okay, so once I get outside, I'm going to go to the next page. Then I'm, um, I'm going to tell you about how, how I opened up my console and um, found that my AirPods were not there. So let's see. So I'm just, I could quickly draw just like um, here's the inside of my car. And I opened up, you know, you've got that little cubby right in the middle of your two seats. And I open up um, the lid and I'm looking, here I am, I'm looking for my AirPods. Okay. And there's a lot of stuff in here. There's DVDs in here. There's sunglasses in here. Um, and I'm looking, um, I mean, Let's see, let me fix my arms because I'm looking over in there. So I want to re be reaching, um, looking for my AirPods. So, and I'm confused because I can't find them. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning of my story. Let's make sure it makes sense. So first, I was at my house with my family during the daytime. Then I decided I wanted to go exercise and go run outside. So I walked outside to my car to get my AirPods out of the console. And I started looking for them, but I couldn't find them. Then, lastly, I realized, here I am sad, I realized that someone had broken into my car and stolen my AirPods. So here they are. I'm going to write stolen. So that's when I discovered that my iPad, my AirPods were stolen. This made me feel sad. I'm going to put tears on my face. Um, I couldn't believe that somebody had um, went into my car. I did leave my car unlocked um, one night. And then so we had a thief go into our car and steal some stuff out of our cars. And one of the things they sold was my AirPods. So that's when I realized that they were missing. I felt sad. I felt um, a little bit mad too. And so... Then I just decided, well, I'm just going to go running anyways. And then when I got back home, I felt a little bit better. Um, but I still was very sad and a little bit mad, too, that somebody had broken into my car and stolen my AirPods. So we just made a plan. So when I go back and look at my, my book, so here we go. We've got um, the title of my book, Stolen AirPods, on this page. I was at my house with my family, Matt, my husband, Madden, and my son, Eli, and it was, it was daytime. It was, um, after work, so it was, um, not nighttime yet, but it was at the end of the day. I decided I wanted to go outside and take a run to get some exercise. So I walked outside to my car to look for my AirPods. I looked in the console and discovered that they were missing. I could not find them. Then I realized that they had been stolen and somebody had broken into my car while we were sleeping and stolen my AirPods, and it made me feel very, very sad. 
I did learn a lesson though. I learned that I need to lock my keep my cars locked at night. And anything valuable that I that means a lot to me, I probably need to take inside of my house. So now it's your turn. You guys and girls are going to head on over to Seesaw, and you're going to touch and tell and sketch across your pages. Um, yours is going to look just like mine. I want you to use your seed idea that you've already chosen from last week. If you don't remember your seed idea, call me on Teams or send me a message, and I can look back at your assignments and help you figure that out. You can also look back through your assignments on Seesaw and look what you chose to be your seed, your seed idea. Um, if you get stuck or have any questions, please give me a call. I'm here for you. And I hope you guys have a great time writing. Happy writing, y'all.